Hey guys, my name is Sade, welcome. I've been following carnivore for about 14 weeks now. In the beginning, I, around the first seven to eight weeks, I was eating seven foods, uh, beef, pork, fish, eggs, butter, ghee, and salt. And then I transitioned to lion and now I'm only eating beef, salt and water. And I have tried to reintroduce things again, I think perhaps a bit too early, but um, that's what I'm gonna talk about today is an experience I had with cream cheese. So um, before that, I have managed to reverse all symptoms of uh, anxiety, depression and uh, borderline personality symptoms. But, 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 when I have tried to reintroduce foods, those symptoms have come right back. So I, even though I've, I've been saying this the whole time, I'm not claiming that I am cured from BPD. I'm not claiming I'm cured from anxiety or depression because I have experienced symptoms again, more than one symptom of the BPD and the anxiety and depression came back full blown. So today I'm talking about uh, cream cheese. I was really upset. I've been homesick, missing London. So, uh, I can't remember how long ago now, but a couple of days ago, around five, six days ago, I decided to make some carnivore bread. And this included pork rinds, um, eggs, ground beef, uh, baking soda, and um, yeah, that was it. That, that was the four ingredients for the carnivore bread. But And then I ended up buying some cream cheese and putting a bit of cream cheese on top. So between the cream cheese and the baking soda, I don't know if the baking soda had any whatsoever effect, but I know... I, I know so well and I remember so well the effect um, that the dairy was having on me because um, I was already sad from just being a bit homesick and it was a low mood level of sad. It was one that I'm not quite used to as a person with BPD. Whenever I was sad, I used to be really sad, like really, really depressed and really sad. I just wanted to go and like delete myself, basically. I'm not going to say the word on my channel, but I, I wanted to delete, to delete myself when I got sad before, when I was, before I was carnivore. But... Um, a day after eating the cream cheese, I kind of felt the same. So I thought, okay, maybe I'm, I'm good with cream cheese. I didn't eat any more. But and then the day after that, I ended up, I woke up really depressed. Not only that, I woke up uh, like I, it, I was disassociated. And it, it's been so long that I forgot what the feeling felt like. And I had to sit back and ask myself, what is this feeling? Where is it coming from? Because I don't really remember it. And then I was like, oh, I remember this now. This is that same feeling I'd have when I was walking myself to the hospital, going to ask for some pills or walking myself to the doctors and saying, hey, um, this is, you know, I, I can't deal with this anymore. I don't even feel like I'm a person. I'm barely a person. That's what that disassociation felt like. It was as if, you know, I'm here, but I've taken some kind of drug that's got my consciousness somewhere else and I'm still here. I can't explain it. I woke up and I was disassociated. I was anxious, um, depressed. And then I realized as I went throughout the day, I was also anxious. I was just full of anxiety. And all of that from a little bit of cream cheese, not a lot, guys. I had, I made three pieces of carnivore bread for myself, very thin piece, pieces. And um, I put the carnivore cheese on, the carnivore cream, the cream, carnivore cheese. I put the cream cheese on all three of them, but I only ate one and a half of the really small breads. It was like that, like that thick and that big. And then I ate the cream, I ate one and a half of it. And then I ended up, you know, thinking it's gonna be it's gonna be okay because it's just a little bit of dairy. It's not gonna do me, you know. When I used to eat dairy, I used to eat a lot of it. Nope, obviously I'm more sensitive. So I uh, woke up two days later with the disassociation, the anxiety, and the depression. Um, I ended up having a disagreement with my partner, and I ended up, you know, again in my head wanting to just fly away, go home, never see him again. And that was the splitting that came back. Um, on top of that, my really low mood came back, like my bad, my depression was there, my anxiety was there, um, and my my up and downs, they just came, it was, it's like I was the same person I was before I started Carnivore four months ago. I was, it was just like a full blown, a full day of full blown BPD, a day of full blown anxiety, a day of full blown depression from a little bit of cream cheese, guys, and it's not something that I miss, and at at the point where I was, where I ate the cream cheese, it was like, okay, pick a sad, pick a struggle. Do you want to be sad because you can't get your comfort food, you know, your ice cream, your biscuits and the desserts and the things that I was craving because the sun had just come out. And usually when I'm in London and the sun comes out, I like to eat my digestive biscuits with ice cream. I didn't think that was going to be a trigger for me this summer. It didn't even come to mind, but it did. It happened. And I ended up, you know, um, just 
trying to do the right thing by making some carnival bread and going and staying in the realms of carnival by using cream cheese because that's included in you know um i think basic carnival or, or, or dirty carnival i don't know it's allowed <laughs> so i was thinking okay i'll be all right but no and, and i should have known better because i know how badly um dairy affects me so uh yeah i spent the day and I spent the next few days really down and depressed not really feeling connected to anything um the disassociation also all of these symptoms are all part of the BPD it's just like I again I just had a full blown day a full day of BPD um just like I was before and it's just incredible to see and to know and very sad actually it, it really made me sad because I've spent so many years of my life with this diagnosis I've spent so many years of my life with anxiety depression and holding myself back and being scared to do things, being scared to meet new people, being scared to really express myself and go out and do my music and do shows and do the things that I really, as a creative, should be doing. But I was too scared because of the food I was eating, not because of my diagnoses, but because of the food I was eating that was making me that way. Because I'm not that way naturally. In my natural state, without the food messing with my gut microbiome and my brain and the neurology and whatever's happening, I'm pretty normal. And, well, half normal. Because now that I've gotten rid of all of the, the things that were covering up what I believe and what I've always believed was being on the spectrum with Asperger's, now the Asperger's symptoms have exasperated. It's like, oh... I really am like this. It wasn't the BPD. It wasn't the anxiety. It wasn't the depression. There is just something about me that's, that I 100% believe I'm on the spectrum. I relate to probably 9 out of 10 of the things that come up in regards to being Asperger's. And I have I noticed that I mask a lot. I have to study people. I have to force myself to do things that other normal people would would say that is you know normal and everybody does it and to me it's just inconvenient and something that I don't want to do and I'd rather not do but because somebody else needs it I have to do it you know I, I'm always masking and I'm always you know kind of pretending and acting as if you know I'm a normal person and trying and I, I I've only recently found out that that's called masking but there are so many things that I would rather not do in regards to you know being human and dealing with people on a day-to-day -day basis but I have to because one I'm part of a family and two, you know, I have to live a life and, you know, if it was all down to me, I would probably just isolate and never uh, have to do anything for anyone or, you know, expect to be accepted by others. So, yeah, I since all of the BPD and the um, anxiety and the mental health issues have like basically disappeared, I'm starting to realize that, oh, I'm still I'm still really pretty fucking weird. And I have got all of these kinks about me of having to this repetitive behavior, eating the same thing every day. And um, I used to rock a lot. I used to just rock a lot and I used to go back and forth or I used to do this. And there are loads of um, uh, sensitivity issues that I have where if there's, too, if there's too many sounds going on around me, I literally, I don't have a full blown make, m breakdown, but I do have a, 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 like an internal meltdown. And I'm just glad to get to be knowing myself, although it's still sad because I thought, okay, let me get rid of these mental health issues and I'll be fine, I'll be normal, and I'm not. <laughs> and it's not unfortunate because I realize that I am different and it's okay to be different, but it's hard being different around people that, you know, love you and people that you love. And it's just, it's really hard to deal with. So that's another journey that I'm on right now, guys. It's a very vulnerable thing for me to share also. Sometimes that's another thing, just being out, outwardly spoken, saying too much sometimes. Sometimes people might not need to hear what it is that I'm saying, but I say it anyway. It's just so many of these traits. And when I went to the doctors, they were just like, nah, you, you're, you're crazy. you got BPD. Yes. You ain't got autism. I was like, okay, fine. So I've been carrying on with this BPD and, you know, this anxiety and depression, thinking that was it. And if I can heal it, that was going to be it. But now I've got this whole new world of things that I'm learning about myself. I'm like, oh... That wasn't the mental illness, that was that. So, yeah, I'm currently reading this book, actually. Um, Marriage and Lost in Relationships with Asperger's. And I bought this before I even had any, you know, real, um, like, real, real sus suspect that I was, you know, that way. So it's like everything, that, everything I'm reading in this book is so relatable. Um, it's by Eva A. Mendez. And, you know, it's just, yeah, it's incredible. 
Anyway, that is my experience, guys, with a little bit of cream cheese and a little bit of dairy. Never again, never again. I won't even try raw because there, there's somebody that I, I've been speaking to what well, that has been message uh, commenting on my um, Instagram that uh, even with raw dairy, two hours later, she said today, just today, that she's in tears after eating the raw dairy. And, you know, I'm not a baby. I don't need my mother's milk anymore. I don't need any mother's milk. So I'm just going to just not go down that road again because I'd rather not. Even though I love cheese, I miss cheese, I miss milk. It really doesn't. It turns me into a whole different kind of person. And I'm done with her. I'm now getting to know the new me, the new person that I've, I'm allowing myself to be now. Um, I'm actually trying to, you know, do less masking and more being myself. <clears throat> and it's good and it's, it's got its pros and it's got its cons. <clears throat> but as I get to know myself, other people get to know me more and I, I express myself. Things do get easier. But my life has been extremely hard dealing with mental health issues and on top of the mental health issues being the way that I am and it's exasperated in certain situations and in certain circumstances and environments and especially in the situation that I, the circumstance that I'm in now with being in Mexico not really able to travel or go anywhere until our papers are sorted it's like these habits of the of being on the spectrum are really starting to show like wow because I when I'm outside and I'm busy all the time I can mask as much as I want but when I'm at home things are you know they're obvious so yeah just sharing that with you today guys um if you are sensitive to dairy please stay away from dairy it's not good it's not good for us pasteurized dairy specifically go ahead and try raw dairy whatever but um the gut connection with the dairy and the mind and the inflammation that happens it's it's mind-blowing and i'm just sad and i'm still mourning for myself i'm mourning old food old foods as well as mourning you know um the fact that i could have been living a half normal life for the past 10 years but everything for a reason so i accept it it's just really sad that i've been pe i've been labeled with all of these things yet a change in diet would have helped me with 80 percent of those things so yeah that's my video for today guys i have finally got a new phone but the night the night that i got the phone the next day the very next day is when that disassociation and depression and anxiety happen and i'm just getting over that now so a lot more content is coming guys um i've already started recording the uh vlog for the new home and stuff um yeah i'm gonna be back with a lot more soon guys thank you for being here thank you for sub subscribing to my channel and just you know your constant support all of the comments that i end up reading is so supportive and amazing and positive and just makes me so happy so yeah i'll be back with another video soon guys Bye bye